Hello, welcome to Peter's Marine. My name is Dennis and I have today for you, I have a 1998 Sea Ray. It's a 230 Weekender. Um, as you can see, the boat looks pretty, pretty nice from the outside. You probably see the red shining. Hopefully that's coming through on the video. Um, this is not gel coat. This was redone by the previous owner and it is Imran paint. It's really nice. It's going to stay looking like this basically forever. It's got a real nice color to it, depth, shine. That's what's really given this boat a lot of its pop right here. Uh, the boat is a freshwater boat. It does have bottom paint on it. Uh, the intent of the prior owner was to keep it in the water, uh, a local lake, uh, which they did for a couple of seasons, then decided they didn't want to do that anymore and they stopped keeping it in the water. So uh, it does have the bottom paint on it, but it's a, a freshwater boat. Um, the trailer goes with it. It's a dual axle trailer. You got brakes on both the axles, so you're safe there when you're towing. Uh, if you come around the, the back side here, uh, it's got a, a Mercury outdrive. It's got an Alpha outdrive. It does have a stainless prop that goes with it. The prop is in good condition. We just take them off while it's here on the lot. Uh, if you're taking a look at this boat and something looks a little funny, by the way, we do have the fisheye lens on the camera because when we're in the cabin, we need to be able to see a little more. So uh, take that into account if you can as you're taking a look at this. Um, as I said, the boat's 1988. Uh, it's got an extended swim platform on it, which helps if you're doing some water sports. You certainly can do that with this boat. Uh, we'll take a take a look up or take a step up inside the boat. We'll take a look at some more up there. It's probably going to be a little jittery as the as Devin, our cameraman, climbs on board. And what you're going to see in here is a, a typical layout uh, from this era of boat. You've got your back-to-back -back seats, and these seats do lay down flat. They also slide, which is a nice feature to have. They're on a rail system, not a lift it up and jiggle it out. There's actually a little clip under here that you release, and it slides down. It's real nice and smooth. It's a nice setup. Then you simply pull them back together, slide them again. There's a handle on this side that you can lock these down with if you want to so it doesn't slide at all. This side does the same thing. Um, because you are so high up in this boat, you've got a lot of storage in this boat as well. In fact, you've got all the storage underneath there on both sides. There's also storage under here, as you might see there. Well, there's a, there's a floor there. Well, there is storage underneath, but you access that from the front. And I'll show you that feature in a minute because there's another nice thing that goes along with that. Uh, in the back here, you do have, I don't know if you can see it from where you're at or not, but we have the, the bench seat out right now, but this is the backrest, which simply pulls off. Lay it out of the way for a sec. And then you release the, this, there's your seat. The backrest slides right back on top of there, and now you have a, your full bench seat across the back. It's a nice feature, again, to, to have. You know, if you're not going to have a whole lot of people on the boat, then just leave it down, or leave it stored, I should say. There's no reason to use it. If you have a lot of people coming on, get it out and set it up. And that just clips right on back there. Stays out of the way. Uh, where you won't be able to see right now, but if you can follow my hand where my, my hand's going, right under here is your city water hookup. So that way, if you're at a slip sometime, if you rent a slip for the weekend, uh, or as the, the boat as the boat's uh, moniker, its name entails, it's a weekender. Uh, you can hook up a, a water supply from the dock right to here, and you have a constant water supply. You don't have to rely on the onboard tank. Along with that right in here is a freshwater wash down, and this comes off the onboard tank again. So it's not drawing in lake water or seawater or wherever you're at. This is fresh water that's going to come out here. This, some nice deep storage there as well on both sides. On the side over here, you have that storage, as you can see my hand going down, and then right here you have access to your battery switch. There's two batteries uh, on board. Um, if you've noticed a little bit, you see how the center area is up an inch or two uh, that I'm standing on now. A couple years ago, uh, the owner replaced the engine, and when he did that, he opted for a fuel-injected engine instead of a carbureted engine. Because a fuel-injected engine is a little bit taller than a carbureted engine, it was hitting that. So we had to raise this up for him. We did all the work, by the way, on this. Um, so we raised that up a little bit to clear the engine. So that's the reason you see that up and not totally flat all the way across. Um, 
not really that big of a deal, but just wanted to point that out uh, so you were aware of that. Uh, the seats, for the most part, the vinyl is in fantastic shape. You can see it's got good color. They're soft. There are some spots where the seats are starting to, some of the seams are starting to pull apart a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, they're, they're in nice, they are in nice shape. Um, it is not hard. It's not, you know, they're not, uh, you know, pulling apart this way. Just a couple seams that can be fixed as well. Uh, the side combings, those are all in great shape as well. Um, up on the dash here, of course, you've got your, your destroyer-style steering wheel. Um, all your switches are labeled there, and, and everything works on this boat, by the way. I mean, the customer really took good care of the boat um, and made sure everything was in good operating uh, condition. Uh, you have your standard gauges throughout here, and one extra gauge that you don't often see on many boats, but it's really nice to have if you're taking some trips. Of course, this type of boat, you know, you could take some trips with is this, and this is a flow scan. This is a, a gallons per hour meter, and that needle will move as you move your throttle. So you can fine tune the boat's attitude, both speed and RPM, trim tabs, which you have on this boat as, as well. They're controlled right here. Um, and you can really fine tune the boat to get the best mileage possible. Uh, in the boating industry, a lot of times we go by gallons per hour, not as much by gallon, uh, miles per gallon until you get into much bigger boats. Uh, but you can use this to find out you know, what, your, what your best cruise speed is, which is really nice to have because as we all know gas prices, and gas prices aren't that uh, uh, great right now. So if we can save a little extra, that helps. And that's a nice feature to have. That's actually about a $300 gauge in there. So it's uh, a nice thing to have. Uh, got your VHF radio, your compass over there, uh, fish finder if you're going to do some fishing. Uh, also works, of course, as a depth finder. Um, there's no depth finder here. So now you have that as well. Uh, Wiper, uh, opening side windows here, these windows here will open up. I got the canvas in the way there so I can't go too far. But you can open those windows up and get a little more ventilation. And um, There was another nice feature I was going to tell you about and that's over here. Um, again, the boat is tall. Now I'm about six foot. I can stand here nicely at the wheel. This is a nice, I'm looking over top of this. And I could, I could sit. But if you look down at my feet, well, that's not going to be comfortable for the long run. So, Sea Ray had some nice uh, ingenuity built in here. And you got a pull out step, if you can see that. So now, now I got a place to rest my, seat, my feet so I'm nice and comfortable. In addition, this will be that extra storage that I was talking about. This opens up and goes back. So now you have your secondary storage underneath. And there's a second box underneath that side as well. Um, there's more storage built in. These are just some of the fenders that the prior owner has. These go with it. This actually goes back about that far. So you can really get a lot of stuff in there. There's another one on, on the other side. This one has a little larger opening here. And inside here are some extra parts that the, that the owner had. Here's a, an extra oil filter. There's a, uh, looks like an extra um, uh, fire extinguisher, prop wrench. Big thing in here, here's your shore power. Just like when you hooked up with your um, uh, city water, you can hook up shore power so that when you're at a dock, you hook that up to the dock supply, to, uh, to the electrical outlet there on the dock, and now everywhere in the boat you have 120 volts just like you do back home. Uh, so you can run you know, a hair dryer or a TV or whatever it might be, um, but you can run that off of regular you know, 120 volt power, 115 volt power. I'm not going to pull these out, um, but this box told you the customer really did a good job of uh, keeping up on his, on his boat. Um, there are two more deck hatches. Um, there's three deck hatches on the deck up there. Uh, one of them was leaking, so he replaced that one. But while he bought that one, he figured he might as well buy all three uh, to have. So one is replaced. The other two are not leaking. But if they would ever do or if they break, you've got some extras in there that are ready to go. Stepping down into the cabin which is what really makes some of these boats really nice, the ability to use these cabins. Um, 
You've got hot and cold water right here, hot and cold. You've got, and you always use these towels to protect uh, the stove here. It's a dual burner stove. Again, like I said, he really tried to protect everything here. That's how the boat came to us. Uh, this is a, a, a electric stove, so you can use electric power when you're hooked up to shore power, or you can use an alcohol burner when you're not. So if you're just in a cove somewhere and you've got the anchor down and you spend the night there, you can use the alcohol stove. So you can, it's a, it's a dual, dual power, either way you want to go, wh whether you're at a marina with power or if you're out um, anchored somewhere, you can use the alcohol. Put this back the way you had it, in case he stops by. Okay. Lots of little uh, places to put small things throughout, shelves in here, extra things that are put on there. Here's another spot where you can get some, some more storage. Storage on a boat is key. You, know, you, you can't just pull over and grab something else. You've got to have everything you want with you. So having places to put things is really nice. Um, down here is another one. Here's one of those uh, electrical outlets that I talked about when you're at shore power. This is a good place to store, store some dishes and some utensils. Um, as we come down the port side here, these are called tambour doors. They're all in good shape. They roll up within themselves back there. And you have some screens, it looks like, for the, the hatches. You've got a spot where you can put bottles of wine. That's what it, this actually is. It's a wine rack. Um, I don't know if you can see it from there, but the holes are about that big. So you've got a place to put your, your wine or use it for something else. Um, going around the boat, you have storage under each of these three bow seats. This is the table and the filler piece to make this into a bed. This will actually open up. You can slide all the way down. And then underneath here right now, there's some extra cushions that fill this in. So this becomes one big bed all the way across. This would also be used as your, as your table if you're going to eat down here. Uh, there's a pole located down there right now, and that will go into a, a mount down there, and it'll raise the table up, and you can open it up, and now you can have a nice big table. You, you can get four people around here quite easily. Um, more storage as you go around. That mirror does flip up. It gives you another way to access the anchor locker. You can do that from the bow as well. Um, the timbre doors, more over here. No wine rack on this side, though. Some other ones here for some long things. This one's going to actually be a hanging locker. Um, there's a, a rod in here, so you can have things on, a, on hangers and hang them in there and keep them and, uh, out of the way. And it drops down pretty far. Uh, you've got some lights around. There's some other lights here. Um, got a dressing mirror there, so you can get dressed in the morning. In the head, more compartments. Um, there's more of those tambour doors. They're just nice doors because they roll up in, inside themselves real small, so when they're open, they're not taking up a lot of room. There's some more. More storage up there. There's another mirror in here. There's a light in here. There's even, you can't see it from there, but there's a real nice access door in here, which you don't often see. This right here. And that lets you, gives you access to your fuses and the back of your um, uh, dash panel up there. So if you want to make a change, it's real easy to get to. You're not lying on your back somewhere and trying to look at things in the dark, uh, you can get to things real easy, which is nice to have, nice to have that access. And that closes up. Um, I skipped over it, but here's your refrigerator. Okay. And this is uh, basically just got a little on and off switch there. Okay. And we set it and forget it. And they, they work quite well. They're small. It's a dorm size, but it does work quite well. Uh, there's another electrical outlet over here. There's a 12-volt outlet down here, so you can plug things in there as well. Charge a cell phone, get it out of the, out of the heat. Um, you know, for a 1988 boat, this is awful nice. Uh, it's, it's, really, it's been kept up well. Even the carpet's in good shape. Um, you saw the, the exterior. Um, you know, the glass is all in good shape. You have nice high glass. So you really are protected when you're down in, inside the boat. Um, nice big bimini top. It, I mean, it covers up the whole cockpit, you know, from you know, 
really from here all the way back. Uh, if you're look, thinking about getting into a boat uh, to do some overnighting with, but still want to be able to do some water sports, this is going to do it. Uh, this is going to handle it. Um, if you have any questions at all, you can give us a call. Again, my name is Dennis. You can talk to anybody here, though. Um, we're in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Our number is 610-433-1606. Excuse me, 1606. Uh, Any questions at all, just uh, give us a shout and we'll, we'll help you out. Thanks for looking.